Welcome to game night tonight. We're excited because we're gonna be playing one of our new favorite games, Everdale. As always, my name is Brady Anderson, and here today with us we have Bluey. He's going to be taking us through the forest in this woodland Everglade known as Everdale. We're going to be building up our own towns and having different creatures. It's going to be just so joyous and so much fun. And he's going to just probably kill me on this one. He's had a lot more experience on this game, but ultimately we got this set up for a two-player game. It's pretty similar for both setups for a two or a three and a four-player game. The only difference is we have one less additional spot here, and that's pretty much it. And from there, we're just going to hop right in here. So It's one of those games that's better, uh, better explained by doing. So Truth. Uh, the essential premise is... Your woodland creatures, you've come to a new woodland, and now you have to build your little villages. Uh, and so I'm these little, I think they're supposed to be hedgehogs. I want to say hedgehogs for yours, and I am a tortoise. Yep, think think like the rescuers, like the little village they built with all the critters. That's what we're building, just, you know, minus Auntie M. <laughs> Auntie M. I miss her. Or the crocodiles. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Crazy. Al alligators? Crocodiles? It's What's the, the difference? Well, one's got like a rounder nose or something like that. I don't know. If you know the difference, uh, comment below just so that we know for sure. I mean, we can look it up, but it's easier if you just comment for us. Either way, as you said, we're just going to be building it up. Um, we have limited resources, basically, because we only have to start with two workers. But as he said, you're building this in preparation for the coming winter. We have to get everything done before winter. When winter comes, that is when we decide who did the best preparations. So we're gonna go ahead and yes. hop right into it. He's gonna be our first player. Okay, sweet. Every turn you can only take essentially one action. Yes. Uh, there are a few different actions I can do here. I can look at my cards and I have, in my little woodland area, I have spaces for 15 buildings. So I can either decide to do that. Buildings or critters. critters. Right, and so if I look at what I have here. As he's looking, I'll just kind of explain the, the layout of each card. So if you look, it'll tell the name of the card, right? There's a special symbol associated with that card. Um, the name here is the name that you can build this particular creature for free if you have that in your village already. But otherwise, the cost is right there. So this is kind of a pricey guy. The king is six berries, but then it has what he does down here. Each card is different in that they can help uh, other critters get things. Different buildings will help you get more resources. Ultimately, you're just trying to find the best combination of cards that you possibly can. So like I was saying with his, the, the King's thing, when you have a location, it'll have down here in the bottom, it usually has a critter or something, maybe another building you can build. That critter or building can be built for free. Otherwise, you have to be paying the cost of the critter or whatever, but that's kind of how it goes. So he's been looking at his stuff, figuring out what he was going to do. So I have just sent a worker. Now you have these little workers, and uh, they can go to different areas of the woodland and grab things. You'll see if I go here, I get a berry. Here I get a berry and a card. But you also have these ones that change every game that are, are different. So I got two berries and one location card. So now I've got two berries. He gets to draw a location. Remind me, I can only draw from here? Or I, I believe you can from? actually draw from the deck as well. Deck as well. And while he's looking at which one he wants to do, if you notice here on the board, there's two different types of circles. There's a closed circle, and there's a kind of a crescent circle, right? So it's half open, half closed. In the closed circles, only one person's worker can be there. However, in the open circles, as many people as our players, so there can be four players that have a separate individual worker in that same exact spot. So it just means it's open to everybody, no matter if there's already a worker there. So these ones are special, so I can't go there because this is only for a four player game, uh, it is the second spot, otherwise it is unavailable to me. I've got a bit of a, a bit of a dilemma here. Oh yeah? Do I want the good wife? Oh, the wife. Or do I want the inn? Hmm, play a critter or construction for the meadow for three few, wow. <laughs> um, Wow. Both are great. <laughs> Both are great. I think what I'm going to do, just 
double check here. While he's double checking there, the yellow number is also your victory points. Victory points is obviously how you are going to win the game in the end, is how many total victory points you get. So say you get the monk here, he's only worth zero, wife is worth two, you got negative two for the fool, so that's putting it into somebody else's city, you want to just kind of mess with their spaces that they have allotted to them. But you're looking to get the most victory points possible while also boosting your overall village to be the ultimate preparer. Yes. Hunkering so, down. I think what I'm actually going to do... Let's grab that. Okay. And another monk comes out. I'm just gonna go with one of my workers. I'm gonna go here and get one of each. So I'm gonna get a berry, a resin, and a log. Good choice. Now on these cards here, you'll see that there's two spots. This one is for if you have, you know, four player, up to four player game, but the one to two player is just that first one. So this is actually completely occupied. We can't put any more critters here. Same with that one. But what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go, that is a hard choice, but let's go ahead and go right here. So grab two logs and another card. I think I'll go ahead and grab Le Wife. All right, Le Wife is gone. Ooh, the Eva Tree. That is a very expensive card, but very good for victory points in the end. Okay, I am actually going to do pretty much the exact same thing you did. I'm going to hop in here too, get two and I'm going to draw this card. And, let's see. Resin Refinery, that's actually Ooh, pretty good. That is a very good one. Now, while we're looking at that, a little bit more of further explanation. See all these little guys with the green symbol? At the end of every season, mm -hmm. you get to pick whatever it says on the card and do it. For it just activates the all of them. action so, for each of those. When we say, ooh, that's a good one, and you're like, why, you just gained one resin, just go there? Well. That'll happen every season. If yes. You have that in your and there are three seasons. We're in our first season right now. We just came out and we're about to go into spring. We're at the tail end of winter right now, getting out of the snow and you know, peeking our little heads up. What's our hand limit? Shoot. I believe it was eight, but I'm not quite sure. Rule book. Rule book. Resolved. Resolved. It's eight. Well, I guess for my action here, you, you did take the end. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Of course I did. You, you did. Okay, fine. Can't really do much of anything. I think what I'm going to have to do instead is end my season. You're ending your season already? Already. Oh, shoot. Okay, so he didn't really get to play any cards, but he's set up. He has two berries, two logs, so he's going to end his season. What ending his season does is recalls his workers. Yep, so, so I his get my workers back. Two little hedgehogs go back. And then he, now on the tree, if you can see from our angle, it says you add one worker for preparation for the next season. So he's gonna take his one worker that was on the tree. That will be great for his next season. I'm still stuck in the other season because I am actually going to build something. So I'm gonna play a card. I'm gonna play my inn that I did just take. I'm gonna play this for my inn. And that is a really good card to start out with. Yes, yes it is. And that's it. Okay. See, when you end your turn for the season, you lose that entire turn, essentially. So now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is take one of my workers here. Can do the berries again, Two huh? more berries and and card. Let's just see what we get. Oh. Pulling from the top obviously runs the risk of getting something you might already have or don't really want, but it also runs the, the greater risk of getting something that you don't want the other person to have. I am in the situation where I cannot build anything. I don't have enough, so I get to do exactly what he did. I'm preparing for spring, so I'm recalling my workers, getting my additional worker, and to you. To me, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is pay my cost of three berries, one, two, and three, to build, oh, that is the wrong, the wrong item. I hate it when I'm building up the wrong resources. Well, well, you know. I don't know who the city planner was, but I'm gonna fire him immediately. <laughs> because I was gonna pay the three berries, I just had the wrong card out. Play the judge. This card. Ooh. When you play a critter or construction, you may replace any resource with any resource. So he essentially can swap out whatever the heck he wants, which the judge is great for that. He's, he's amazing. Amazing guy. Really, really good. Okay, let's see, what do I need to do? I'm gonna do this again. I just really like this. One of everything. So log, resin, berry, back to me. 
Perfect. I was, I was hoping to be able to do that. No, not this turn. All right, all right. What is your credit? My critter? I, uh, I'm a tortoise. You're a tortoise. Yeah. He's I'm a just, tortoise, I'm a hedgehog. Uh, that's why I'm slow at getting through the seasons. I'm already like one step behind him. All right, well, let's see. The tortoise and uh, the hedgehog. Now that I have the that. tortoise and the hedgehog. You know. I don't remember that song. I don't know. That's a farmer in the dale. I don't I know. I was going to say. Hi ho, there. Well, you know. All right, because I have this guy here, what I can do is even though this farmhouse requires, as you'll see in the top corner, two wood and one resin, and I only have two wood and a berry, the judge is going to allow me to play whatever the heck he wants. To replace one for one. So I'm replacing that uh, for that. Darn judge. And great book. that will allow me to build my farm. And then you gain a berry back. Yes, I do. Which is great for him. Need and again, that's one of those green ones that comes up every season. He'll be getting a berry at the beginning of every season. Which is great. I am going to get some stuff. Some stuff. I'm going to go here and grab a stone. And your turn. I'm going to build a character. Now, one of the reasons I did this is I wanted to show you fine folk. I have a farm. Now, in the bottom of the farm, the very bottom corner there, it says husband slash wife. That means when I build this, normally the husband would be three berries to build or to recruit. But because of the farm he already has placed, he gets to recruit him for free. For free. So, for free! Comment below. So that, there we go. That's that a uh, good move, good move. Good move. All right, I need a resin refinery. So I'm going to be paying these two to get this resin refinery into my town. I gain a resin, boom, got it back, and replace. Okay. Okay. Wow. Fairgrounds is pretty good. But what I'm gonna do is now play the wife for free. He's just gonna capitalize on that. So, so here's the other thing, actually, he cannot do that because after you've built one for free, you take this special little token and you push it put it over that so he only gets to use it once he'd you have to have another farm. Can you do. cannot bluey you will not i'm the alpha here alphas always smile when in retreat yeah well. um okay so <laughs> i'd need a second farm to play the wife absolutely unless you have two berries because the wife if i'm not mistaken is only two berries to recruit that would have been a great move though well let's see I guess what I'm going to have to do is use my worker here and go right there. So I'll just move your guy over. Ah, perfect. Yes. Everybody move. That's right. Thank you, Physic. Yes. Ah, right. uh, getting two, huh? Getting two. Yes. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to deploy my worker, not out here, but because I have it here on one of my cards, I can deploy my worker here and activate its power, which the power is play a critter or construction from the meadow for three resources fewer. This is a total of four resources. I'm going to use one of my woods, and then the other three are the two resin and the stone. I'm going to take this, this guy's killing me. put it in here, and it says I get to draw two cards, so we replace this first. And I don't want any of those, so I'm going to draw two from the top of the deck. Can't believe this. I'm losing to a rug. <laughs> Just be yourself. I'm at my hand limit now, so if I draw any more cards, I have to discard. Okay. I'm going to deploy my last worker, and I'm going for... Yes. Ah, loading up on the wood. One, two, and oop, three. You know what? I'm going to recruit this nice little chip sweep here because I have the resin refinery over here. I'm going to recruit him for free. Yeah, I put your shield there. And oh, yes, I got to put the shield so I don't do that multiple times. I think it's supposed to be a door. And when I do that, I get to activate one of these in my city for free again. So I wonder if you can just keep activating the same. No, just, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything. Definitely. So I'm going to try and get couple more. I will be drawing two. Now I'm at my hand limit, so I gotta figure out what I wanna do. I'm gonna trash that. No. Well, uh, for my next trick... Oh, I guess I didn't have to. Now I'm at my hand limit. I only had to discard one. I'm going to put two of those back and that to build a second farm. 
do this too. Now when I build the farm, I get a berry. You get a berry, and you get a berry. Well, I am going to recruit the fool. No, I was trying to get there first, because I saw you had the fairgrounds. Yep, I'm gonna do that for free on here, because I had the fairgrounds. That's just a fluff card for him. It uh, makes it where he can't fill in one of his spots, so it's wonderful. That fool, just playing a fool over there. Enjoy. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Well, I am going to for free. Uh, Every time he does that, I think it's... Oh, you got a second farm? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry. You're yes, I got a first. second farm, which means I got the wife, which means I get the husband and the wife. Mm. So that'll give me another of a resource, and I think I'm going to grab this. Now what? that I have them paired. Gain one if paired with a wife, and you have at least one farm in your city. Uh -huh. Which one did... You just played her, though, right? Yes. So, you just played her, so it activates hers first. So, it's just at the beginning of the season, you get the So next. I don't get that until the beginning of the season. That beginning season will be his, but okay. hers activates right now because you just played Which her. Which is just three victory points, right? And they share the same space, in fact. Oh, do they? Yep. See, at the bottom it says, may share a space with a husband. Oh, so, okay. that That's fool... That's very nice of her. Yeah, that fool didn't do much. So you have a husband and wife combo right there. Alrighty. And this goes back on that farm. Don't be cheating it. You gotta put another one over there. Gotta keep Bluey under under wraps here. Tries to break all the rules. He's a dog. You dog! Is Bluey a dog? Yes. Bow bow bow? I'm, I'm a dog named Blue? Yeah, Bluey. Yeah, oh, Bluey. Bluey. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, where's Steve? Steve. Hey, Steve, come up. We're spitting on bugs. <laughs> Alright, was that your move? That was your move, right? But. <laughs> Okay, I need to I need to figure out what I'm doing here. What am I doing with my life? I am in a pickle. Uh, not literally in a pickle. Is it actually no gherkin? I uh, have no workers. They're all out. So I'm actually going to beat you to this season because I have nothing that I want to do at this time. So recall all three of my guys. Move on to the next season. I am entering summer. So apparently in the same village, we're in the same exact area. I'm somehow in summer and he's still in spring. Maybe it's a little bit cooler on your side of the... I don't know. Look who's on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> Look who has all the horses. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love that. Bye-bye, <laughs> Benny. Comment, um, okay. Comment below so, on that one. One I, of our favorites. I, I, I don't know how we know so many of these. <laughs> oh, shoot. Ben. That's another... Thank you. Um, so that's another thing was with this, preparing for a season, I get to activate all of my... Oh, actually, no, I don't. No, you don't. Not, on Not this, this one. one, but I get to draw two meadow cards. That's yes, what it is. Do. So I forgot. It changes per season. So for summer, I just get more cards, more happiness. So I'm going to do this. More happiness. That's happiness, yes. Happiness. I don't know why I keep trying to look at his cards. I literally cannot see anything from like here down. That's why you see me doing this. I don't understand why. Are you a little cross eyed? He's like, oh, I can't see. Okay. Get rid of those. All right. I'm trying to decide whether or not to join you in your current season or try and do something tricky. Oh yeah. When you play a critter or a construction, you may replace one with one. I was doing that, right? Yes. Okay. That was if you needed to replace yeah, which one. Which I didn't. So we're fine. We're fine. I think I'm going to follow suit. Preparing for his season, he gets to draw two cards, entering into summer, and get his other hedgehog. Assuming you're still doing the season. You're coming to this side of the river. I'm on the east side. I'm on the, I'm on the west side. It <laughs> ain't exactly the Mississippi. <laughs> Taking all of you guys back, I get you. Draw two meadow cards, I need those. One, two. Well, for my first act, I'm gonna take this special, I just love it. It's gonna be the resin, the berry, and the twig, or log, whatever. Okay, to you. Okay. And if you're wondering down here on the, the board, like, what is this about? This only happens in the very last season. So when you're in autumn, that's, that's when this can happen, where you have to discard equal points, oh, discard cards equal to the points to be able to occupy that space, but you also have to send a worker there to get those victory points. Meaning you have to discard cards in your hand that equal up to whatever number you're going for, and then put your worker there. You know what, I probably should take advantage of this haven too, because you can discard any card from your hand, and for every two cards you discard, you gain a resource. If you're stuck and you need to build more, Stay in the season for a little bit longer. That actually, I should have done that. Dang it. Why didn't I think of that? So I'm going to build, I, I gotta try and do a farm like this you've been doing. This mask is uh, chafing my Groucho Marx eyebrows. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Did that build my farm get a berry? I think what I'm going to do now for my next trick is let's go ahead and pay this and this and a berry in place of another stone. Of course, that judge coming into play. We're going to play the university. Ah. Discard a critter or construction from your city, gain resources equal to that card's cost. You gave me the fool thinking it would be detrimental. So in reality, he's, no, he's just, just three, three free berries. You're welcome. Thank you. From your city. I was like, is there any way I could do that? I get in there and then I get my three free berries back? I don't know. It was a free move. I, I'm okay with it, but... I am going to be playing my Barge Toad. Ooh, Barge Toad. Paying my two berries to get the Barge Toad, and he says, gain two for each farm in your city. He'd be great for you. You'd be getting four wood off that. I'm only getting two. But still, what can two I is... Uh, if it's better with mine. Nah, I'm fine. Okay. Nice try, Bluey. Uh, I tried. I'm blue. That would be... This is a hard, I mean, we don't have a lot of good stuff coming out There's right now. really not a lot out here. Like, I feel like it's, we've got multiple schools, we've got multiple monks, like, not a lot of variety here. I don't know about your hand, but mine's not great. I have a lot of multiples there, too, so. Let's deploy a worker and need some resources. I'm in the same boat. Not the barge toads, but, oh, but right, you know, right, right, same right. boat. Same boat. Yes. Essentially. I think what I'm going to do instead, let's do this. You're going to get your three berries? I'm going to get... Him out. Okay. And, and then he gets the cost of it. I get three berries and a spot back in my town. Wait, hold on. Then gain. And you gain a victory point. Ooh, victory point as well. Then gain one resource and you gain. So, so I also gain you got your three berries plus any resource that you want. Okay. No, that card's better than I thought. Let's see. Uh, way better. Yes. <laughs> it's like I should just get rid of, I don't know, something in here. I think I'll grab this. That's probably a good idea. That's where we can't really get much of. Yes. Stones. Stones. Okay, well, while you're out there, I'm just going to go ahead and get two resin. Back to you. Back to me? You didn't even give me time to think. You're welcome. I think I gave you too much time to think. Uh, no, I didn't have any other resource. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> well, I have four cards, none of which I want. So here's a neat little trick. These guys are best if you want to get resources. So if you're really stuck like we are, there's something else you can do instead. Oh, this is better. Discard any, then draw two for every... This is... You're going to get more. But this gets you resources, whereas this is just going to get you more cards. So I can just discard all four, draw eight new ones. Yes. That is a very good idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I got some good cards. Dang it. Well, that's unfortunate for me. I am going to be paying my two hood and two resin, and I'm going to be playing one of these schools. Schools? The shul, the shul. yes. It's the old shul house. Ah, the shul house. Is that my turn? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I built. Your turn. My turn. While he's uh, looking at what he wants to do, up here on the tree, you notice there's four different cards. These cards are special event cards. As you see at the top, I'll show you. It says you have to have a monastery and a wanderer. So these are the type, the specific type of cards that you have. And it gets you this if you have that specific combo, combo basically, in your town already. And then you also have to put a worker there to be able to gain that for yourself. So those are four different special things. As well as down here, there's four special event things that coincide with how many of each specific icon that you have in your town. Like for me, for instance, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five of the mini little tree symbol. So I could put a guy here, take it for my own, and that's three victory points for the end of the game. So based on like how many you have of each, you can actually utilize that. Usually it doesn't come into play until later, but if you're racing for those victory points, it happens too, early in game. Yes, so what I can do is utilizing my judge here, I can trade a berry for a resin and build a mine. In a, a mine. mine. We, we went for two different I, things. Yeah, I'm sorry. You went to Disney. A mine. And then I was like, in a mine. <laughs> yeah. A mine. Okay, let's see. Uh, so I do that. I do gain that back. Yes, because of the mine. Yes. Yeah, I would have loved to have, like, any kind of stones would be great right now, but not happening. Not it's happening. not happening. 
kit for that, can play that. One of the great things about this game is your resources are always limited. You never have a surplus. But there are things that combo. So it's like, if I do this, then I get more resources there. If I do this, then I can build that guy here. And so you're wanting to try and combo as much as possible throughout your entirety of your season. So there's a lot of thinking and a lot of strategy, but... All right, I'm going to go here, grab a resin, and then hope for the best on this card. <gasps> okay. I think the next thing I'm going to do is that. So, again, utilizing a berry is something else. I really like this guy. Yeah, the judge is really killing it for you. I mean, not killing it. I mean, he's creating it for you. Ah, the twig barge. Twin barge. Hey, my toad belongs on there. Y yes, but um, it's my barge. Okay. Well, in that case, I am going to play for my shul, I'm going to be playing the teacher for free. <laughs> so play him really quick, and it says I draw two, and then I keep one and give the other to you. So. Watch it be a fool. I will give that to you. I already have one of those. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Okay. It's a wife. He already has a wife. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm still fine. Uh, when I play the barge, do I get the wood immediately? Yeah, when you play it, you get that wood. Well, you should have. No. That, that wood is but fine. since you four went it, no, I'm just okay. kidding. That is the house rule. The other person gets to decide. He's usually nice, though. Yeah. Depends Maybe I shouldn't be. Let me, let me just, let, let me think. There's still really not anything great out here, so I'm like, Whatever you had in your hand when you drew, that's amazing for you. I just, I feel like I have nothing and I keep drawing the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. <laughs> and I don't have enough berries to do any of it. I don't want the monk. Don't make me take the monk. <laughs> I don't want the monk. <laughs> right. There's two of them. What do you do? Well, there are cards that clean this out. Yeah, it would be great them. if we had them, but you know. All right, well, I still have a worker. So, let's not waste. Let's say Monastery Wanderer up there? Yep, the Monastery and the Wanderer. You've got the shopkeeper and the post office. Oh, I wish a I A judge had a and a queen. You just need a queen. <laughs> uh, chip sweep and a clock tower. Let's go with this. Now, we haven't explained this yet. Let me explain. Uh, briefly, but not enough. So, you have these events here. Now, if you have four of any of the symbols already built, which I have one, two, three, four, five, and I only need four for that, then it is a victory points. Mm -hmm. So I get to keep that. But he did have to deploy a worker there to be able to gain it for yeah. himself. Yes, I had to go send him out to go take it. So that is now mine. It's your turn. It is yours, and now that's a very empty space in our forest? tree, forest, woodland. woodland, whatever. I like these little mice that are like, hey, get across the bridge, girl. <laughs> I just noticed that. The artwork on this is really fun. I really like it. Anyway, I am... Do you think this hatch is called Steve? Probably. Steve. <laughs> Steve. I'm much less scared of Steve. Okay, I am going to... Go here, and I am going to build this for one Kles. So That is such a good card. I should have gone with that first. I, I, I went with the husband-wife combo, but... There are two ever trees out here. Holy cow. Would the real ever tree please stand up? Look, it's there. It is standing up. I'm, I may be reaching the end of my season here. I mean, you say, tis the season to be jolly. But we're going into autumn, so, uh. Yeah. A little different. Well, I'm gonna go but ahead and Halloween. do it. Let's Halloween. do it. Let's do it. Do it. Taking this back. Okay. Now he gets two, but it also activates every single one of his leaf. Characters here, so he's got one right here for the twig bar barge. Twin barge, 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 twig barge. Two twig there. Barge. He's get one berry for his farm, another berry for his other farm, and then uh, you've got one stone for your mine, and then you got the husband wife combo. So when that activates, what does the husband get you? The husband gets, says gain one of any resource. I think I'm going to grab a resin. I was gonna say you don't got many. Okay. You don't got any. Okay, I'm gonna buy He's still going. another barge toad here. I'm gonna recruit him, gain two for each farm in my city. Only get two because I only have the one farm. I am a one farm city. I got two. Yeah, well. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is gain two berries in a card. 
Two berries. You already have enough berries. Holy <laughs> like, cow. Oh. And a card. There's a couple things I can do for free, but none of them are out here and none of them are in my hand. So I can't really do anything there. I've already placed all my workers. Uh, dang. I'm in a tight spot. I, you might want to do the next season. Tis the season! Alrighty. How much do you get? Okay. This is going to be fun. Okay. So recall all these guys. So let's start here at the top. So I'm going to get two for each farm. So I get two wood. Um, this guy, draw two cards, keep one. Give one to, the, to me. Give the one to the opponent. Okay. Here you go. Okay. And then I move on to the next guy. Bard showed again. I get two for that. And gain one Betty for, him, the, for the farm. Activate that. I'm going to wait for a second. I'm going to draw two cards here. I got to be getting close to my hand, but I'm going to get rid of that one. Now I'm there. Okay, so I drew my two cards, gain a resin, and then I need to activate this in my city. So I am going to gain another resin. I'm just going to reactivate my resin refinery. All right. Now you can go. Now I can go. Okay, well, the first thing I think I'm going to do is do that again. Mm. And I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Discard any, then draw two for each card he discards. Such a good little thing. I think I'll keep you. And then I'm going to be discarding one, two, three, four, and five. So I get to draw ten. I'm going to have to discard a few. Yes, one, yes, you will. Two. You're going to go through the whole entire thing. Three. Okay. Four. Bluey, really dragging it out here. A one. <laughs> a two. <laughs> A three. <laughs> a three. If you know that, please. I I know we say comment a lot, but that one in particular, please tell us if you know what that one That's is. That's like our childhood on TV all the time. Okay. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Yeah, me neither, actually. I love those things. I was at the uh, the hairdresser the other day and they had some in a basket as opposed to dum-dums, so. Oh, I would definitely take that over a dum-dum. I didn't though, I just walked what? out. I know. What? I'm crazy. Who are you, Bluey? Uh, let's see. That's rough. That's rough. Rough. This is hard. I got a bunch of good cards. <laughs> I'll get rid of that one. I'll definitely keep that one. He has so much to go through right now. So, in other news, we are woodland creatures. And he is taking forever. I, it's a hard choice, sir. <laughs> I, I mean, you drew cards. ten, so like... I... <laughs> Whew, five. Wait five. for the good pictures. That's right. I didn't get what I wanted, if that's, uh, if that's any consolation there. I don't even know what you want right now. Throwing her up. All this, another mine? The ruins? You threw away a theater? Yes. Man, he has no respect for the arts. Literally zero. Okay, well you've done, you've done that. You've done your piece. Okay, I'm going to, I'm gonna go here. Get two resin. Okay, to you. To me? To you. Okay. All right. What big thing are you building here? Courthouse. Ah, your judge. You can build another judge for free if you want. So gain one wood, one resin, or, or gain one wood, or one resin, or one stone after you complete a construction. So from here on out, he's going to be gaining one of any of those, which... Holy berries. You still have so many berries. I'm blown away by that. Okay, I am going to hop on here before he does um, and build a construction for three fewer resources. I'm going to pay three... I'm going to pay three, and I am going to take an ever tree. All right. Take a look at your uh, city over there, see what you got. I have nine, ten, eleven of my fifteen. Very nice. I am still well short of that. Yes, you are. Well, your husband and wife are sharing that and same they're spot. bunking up. Um, I don't blame them. You got two farms, bunk up together. That's right. I think what I'm going to do is copy one of your cards. I think I'm going to play my Miner's Mole for free. What does he do? Gain one? Copy one. Oh, you're going to copy one. Sweet. Your... Which one are you copying? Uh, I need some resin, so... Oh, you can do the resin, resin refinery. refinery. All right. Fine. Take your resin. I did. Okay. He took it. I am going to go here. Get me a stone. 
I'm going to now pay that and that, and I'm going to build a resin refinery, which also allows You already, me... what, you just stole my resin refinery. Why do you need to build your own now? That's... Okay, uh, I also need to, uh, I, I get to, I mean, when I do that, I, I instantly gain a resin. Yes. Nice, just so res... that gains the cost of that back, but I, I also, you know, because of the courthouse, Ah, uh, yes. I get to do that. So you get back exactly what you paid. Well played. Well Thank played, you. Bluey. Thank you. That could have gone better for me. Had you not buy that. Let me go here. As always, get my log, my resin, and my berry to you. I'm going to now utilize the resin to play a chip sweep. Ah, yes. And then he activates another one of your things. Are you yes. getting more resin? Do you need more resin? Well, here's the thing. There's a couple of different things I need. Not berries, that's for sure. He's got so many berries. Unless he's trying to get like the king or something. I don't know. Do you have the castle? Do you have the castle? I'm gonna go ahead and activate um, the minor mole to activate your barge toad. Ah, so you're gonna gain four wood. Yes. Well played. Couldn't get his own barge toad, so he had to steal mine. That's yes, just sir. how he rolls. I'm just, I'm racking up. The, okay, uh, okay, okay. The, the resources, I'm okay. almost caught up to you. Yeah, let's see, yeah. let's yeah. see. Two for every two I discard, I can gain a resource. So I am gonna go Juan Ato. There's two for one resource. Which I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna go Juan Do. And get another resource. Okay. I am done. Let's go here. I gain one of those and one of these. <sighs> more cards dang it okay well while you're doing that I'm gonna pay my three wood my three stones and my three resin and get another ever tree I just love trees and we'll see what comes up ah I only have four spaces left you're you're, you're filled almost I'm at 12 I have yes you have three more three more but I am very close what I'm going to do is sack this farm. You're getting rid of one of your farms? No! It's now become a ruin. Ah. Discard a construction from your city, gain resources equal to that construction's cost, and draw two. So you get two wood and one resin. Okay. That's correct. Now, but this is what's weird. After you play a construction, it is still a construction. Yes. Gain one of any resource. To get one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another stone. Was that free? You just destroyed? Oh, interesting. Yes. Never. And on top of that, this also says I then get to draw two cards. Ah, huh. well, fine. Draw two cards then. But that's not what I needed. He drew another farm, ladies and gentlemen. He just yes. destroyed it. Maybe you have more ruins that'll <laughs> boost your you know, potential of getting through that. Blue needs glasses. <laughs> Oh, Bluey. You've got two barge toads. I do have two barge toads. They're great. Um, I'm going to throw two down there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a wife. I need a wife. Let's put you here. And... All right, so what I'm going to do for my next trick is gain a victory point and two more cards. Man, you're just getting tons of cards. That's, that's great for you. That's great. With that, I'm going to build for free from my farm that you just destroyed yours. I'm going to get the husband. And when I pair with them, I get gain one resource. If paired with a wife and you have at least one farm. I do have at least one. Okay. So I am going to... Let's do this. I'm going to get a berry as my resource. Well, there you go. Well, I'm going to... Um... Go ahead and for free, for free, play a peddler. What's the peddler do? Uh, you may pay up to two random resources to gain any resource. So just to exchange. Yes. He's just going to exchange resources, and he has plenty of them. So I'm figuring out right now that I've I've just went ahead and I spent the resources early. He hasn't. He's just been stockpiling because he's like, oh, winter. That, we've that, got that to wait. Said. This combo here yes, is uh, going to kill me. Uh, I am very grateful he didn't I, go for the ever trees. And I, I, I banked on something else and it didn't come through. Yeah, well, I'm glad that it didn't because this is wonderful. So in this case, I'm going to use my free innkeeper here. 
from the inn to get my innkeeper here into my town. And the innkeeper's draw. so good. Another Let's... farm. Chase, how many are there? You, would, you like to, would you like to buy a farm? That's right. So here's what I'm going to do. So that is one of those, one of those, and one of those. And this allows me to place a guy there and copy any basic forest location. How much space do you have? Oh, you have two left. Yes. I'm down to one left. But so keeping like... in mind, I can destroy. True, but you also have to have a critter to put on. You're down to two, and you only have two spots left. So yes. I have one. So technically, I could destroy something, in my, but I don't want to. It doesn't help me. Because this is giving me zero, so you can better believe I'm going to repeat place replacing that. For one of my final tricks here. This I'm... guy is miles ahead of me on points right now, so he's just hoping I don't pull out any combos. <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to... He's has something, He's drawn so many cards. Like He's probably going to get something. But I am going to discard, as it says. I need to discard cards equal to the points to get it. You I'm going to do... place a guy there. I'm placing my last guy on the five because I'm discarding the four and the one, equaling five. Yes, I am a woodland creature, but yes, I can do math. Okay. So five, doing that, getting my five victory points. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Perfect. All right, I'm going to be placing one on my lookout. Copy, copy any basic location. I'm going to be copying this basic location. Is that, that a basic? Is not, that is not a basic location. So then location. I will be copying this one. I'll get one victory point. Oh, another two cards. And another two cards. What do you got, like 17? You gotta get rid of more stuff, come on. Ah, you got another farm. Not what I want. You know, when you're a farmer, once a farmer, always a farmer. That's not what I wanted either. Okay. Another farm, oh, perfect. Oh. Yes. So with my innkeeper, I can, it says, when playing a critter, you may discard this innkeeper from your city to decrease the cost by three berries. So I'm doing that to play my doctor. And he costs four, so I have to pay one berry. For my next trick, I get to grab him for free because I have the lookout, and that lets me draw three cards. Ah, oh, the storehouse. One, a two, a three. I need to get rid of some. Yes. Yeah, you gotta get rid of some there, man. Okay, well, let's get rid of uh, the barge toad. Or the, the, the twig barge. The twig yeah. barge again. Uh, any number of my farms. It's, uh, <laughs> It's so many farms. I'm surprised at how many you've seen. I haven't seen like one of the characters that I want really bad to come up, and he, he just hasn't. It's killing me. It's been fun, mm -hmm. and I don't have any resources. I mean, I have one log. You always have to have a log. Just got to keep the, the fire burning. What have you been doing? Uh, you're just stockpiling for who knows what's going to happen next. So in the last game that playthrough that we did, uh, I was the one taking additional turns. I might just go take a nap for the next, you know, foreseeable future because I'm done and I'm going to start kind of counting up my points while he does his thing. Uh, stick around. You might learn something. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for my next trick. So I got the cards that I needed just a little bit too late, so now I have to decide which of the part of the combo I have to release. But the first thing I am going to do is that. Discard a critter or construction from your city, gain resources equal to that card's cost, and then gain one resource and gain one victory point. I'm getting rid of these ruins because they're worth zero, so they're not going to be doing me any good. But he doesn't get any resources back from it, but... but um, what I do get is one additional resource. Mm -hmm. And a victory point. Want, which is going to be a berry. Of course, you have... N not enough berries, and, and here's your victory point. One victory point. Get out of here. So, uh, your turn? No, oh, I, yeah. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Here's he, here's here's the problem, and, I'm, and I'll, I'll key you in on this here. You have 12 cards? No, so, I have both the king and the queen. That's all the berry gathering. Mm. I was looking for the queen first, because she lets me play a three for free. Now, the reason I was looking for the queen is because of this. The only problem with this is he'd have to have another guy to place it on it. Exactly. But he doesn't have a guy anymore, so. However. He does have a card that will retract one of his guys. I have a card that lets me new, move a guy to a new location. That would be awesome. So, what I can do, that's why I have to get rid of a space, so I have yes. no space for all this. Or, so that, at maximum, that'll be four. It's not gonna let me build another one for free, I don't have the room. Uh, but that would be a maximum of eight. However, if I do 
good old King Jolly here. He's, you know, going to cost a lot, but I have it. But he'll be worth four. four. One for each basic event you achieved. So these are the basic events. He'd get one. One. And two for each special event you achieved. So if he does the other one up here, he would get two. So that'd be a three point, a However, seven point so total card. He is only up to seven, whereas the queen, if I could manage to, that would be up to eight. So I think that is going to have to be what I end up doing. I was looking desperately for either the castle or the palace. I have the castle. what I was doing. Um, at one point, I had it. So I think these guys are just unneeded at this point. Sorry, folks. Uh, I think we're going to have to go with the queen. Go with the queen. Let's see it. One, two, three. She's Four, on five. I was going to say, she's only a three. There it is. There five is. berries. Gets five that berries. for his next turn. For my next trick here, what I have to do is two more berries. To move one of your guys. To move one of my guys. And really, it doesn't matter at this point. No. But... I can't build anything else, so moving it here to get another three one is ridiculous. So I will be gaining three free victory points by doing and that. And again, really quick, he now has the judge and the queen in his town, so he can go ahead and take this for a, a And then I also free. get to activate... Yeah, he can activate any of the green production that he wants. I don't know that any of my green production would really help me at this point. I mean, I could copy one of your green productions, but I don't know that any of yours would really help me at this point. No, you get a lot of wood. Yeah, but no, no points. Get there's, another berry. There's nothing that gives me points over there? So, no. No. Okay. Not as the green. I mean, you could, actually, you can pay up to three berries to gain one victory point each. Oh, you just spent Ooh. all your berries. <sighs> yeah. that, that's, the, oh, that's the only one I really have. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really have the, any. How about you activate your chip sweep? And then you have to activate another thing. Activate that, activate that, activate that. And then activate my chip sweep. <laughs> and then so activate, activate that. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that'll pretty much end my... Because you can't really do anything after that? No, I mean, I've got, you know, poor king over there to never get used, but I think that's pretty much my, my game. And the lonely king as well. Yes. So that's it. That wraps it up for you? You dealt me the king. I had him since the beginning. Really? Yes. Interesting. So there you have it. We have... Successfully prepared for winter. Now we shall see who did the better preparing. We're going to tally up all the points and come back and let you know who won. Okay, we just right. tallied everything up. You always tally up the victory points, as we said, on the card, face value. Then there's other victory points that you collected along the way, as well as the card combos based on what critters you had, what constructions you had. So I had more combo cards in mind, so we'll discuss that later but for his he where all you had you didn't have any combo cards in your I village was desperately to the king and queen if you can get there the things that build them the castle and the palace it's combos galore for every basic card basically so once you get those in it just usually goes but i could not i just kept drawing and could not find the castle or the palace i had the castle palace i didn't see either so i'm pretty sure it's still in the deck but regardless the tallied up points We'll have Bluey start off. Bluey had a max of? 43. 43 points. That's respectable. I mean, that's a lot of cards. He had some big cards. A lot of things happening. However, yeah. honestly, on my Ever Trees and my schools alone, these combos, I get one point for each of the little flower symbol, whatever. I had That, that makes this a 10-point card. Each. 10-point each Ever Tree. The school made it a 8-point card. Each. each. And I had two of those. So... My total was 62. Yes. So 62 to 43. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't really close, but at the same time, I was really worried because you had so much going on. I was like, I, I don't have enough to do anything. Oh, wait. I lied. Sorry, I forgot to count my five here. It's 67. So that happened. Yeah. So okay. there you go. Different strategies, obviously, to it, but we love this game. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the now, now we're, I think we're tied on wins on this one. Yeah, he, he beat me last time for sure. Um, I didn't see all the combos that were happening, and this time my cards just happened to play out, and I had a lot of duplicate cards that were great. So there you have it, Everdale. We're pretty good at preparing for winter. Hopefully you guys get prepared for winter and that you like this video. If you did, as always, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for the future notifications on all of our videos. But we will catch you next time on Game Night Tonight. Bye.